What are the important viva questions from the cardiovascular system? Let's see. Assalamu everyone. I'm Dr. Sehri Safar and I welcome you to Keto Pharmacology. For those who are new here, I'm an Associate Professor of Pharmacology at CMS Lahore Medical College. Let's start with the drugs used in hypertension. You will be commonly asked about the hypertensive emergencies, what is malignant hypertension, what is orthostatic hypotension, which drugs cause orthostatic hypotension, what is the role of alpha blockers and beta blockers in hypertension, what is methyl dopa, what is clonidine, what is their mechanism of action, what is the importance of methyl dopa in treatment of hypertension, what are the various adverse effects of clonidine, what are the other clinical uses of clonidine apart from hypertension, which drugs are used as vasodilators in the treatment of hypertension, what is the difference between oral and parenteral vasodilators, what are the mechanisms of action of hydrolazine, minoxidil, diazoxide, phenoldopam? What is the side effect of minoxidil that can be utilized as a treatment also? And lastly, but most importantly, what are ACE inhibitors? Enlist the drugs, describe their mechanism of action. What are the various adverse effects and contraindications of ACE inhibitors? Why ACE inhibitors are notorious for causing dry cough? Which alternative drug should be given in case the patient experiences dry cough? Moving on to angina. Classify nitrates according to their duration of action. Describe the cellular mechanism of action of nitrates. Describe cyanide poisoning and role of nitrites in the treatment of cyanide poisoning. Explain Monday's disease. Explain coronary steel phenomena. What are the advantages of combining nitrates with beta blockers or calcium channel blockers in terms of improved cardiac efficiency and decreased cardiac demand? Describe the mechanism of action, clinical uses and adverse effects of calcium channel blockers. What is the difference between dihydropyridines and non-dihydropyridine calcium channel blockers, especially in terms of side effects produced on heart and blood vessels. Why would dihydropyridines cause reflex tachycardia while the non-dihydropyridines would not cause reflex tachycardia? Coming on to the drugs used in heart failure, this is a commonly neglected chapter. Although digoxin is important, yes, you need to know the detailed mechanism of action of digoxin, detailed signs and symptoms of toxicity of digoxin and treatment of digoxin toxicity. But the chapter does not end here. Which drugs are used for the treatment of acute heart failure? Which drugs are used for the treatment of chronic heart failure? What is the role of beta agonists in acute heart failure? What is the role of beta blockers in chronic heart failure? Which drugs decrease mortality and prolong life in chronic heart failure? What are the newer drugs such as Niceratide, Sacubitril and Valsartan and what are their mechanisms of action? Antiarrhythmic drugs are not very commonly asked. You should stick to the you should stick to the classification. Most importantly, what is the difference between class 1A, 1B, and 1C drugs in terms of changes produced on the action potential duration? Then side effects of class 1 group, side effects of class 2, side effects of class 3, and most importantly, amiodarone. Side effect profile of amiodarone drugs which are used for the treatment of supraventricular tachycardia, what is the difference between adenosine and calcium channel blockers in terms of treatment of supraventricular tachycardias.